All right, guys, welcome back to uh, Trucking and Chainsaw, episode four. This is going to be a good one. I already got my first load out of the way today, so we're going to get this sucker sold. We're sitting at $107,000. I have a few expenses today that I got to do. Uh, it should it should be under about 500 bucks, but no big deal. There we go, another 15K. So the goal is today, the, the goal today is to make $100,000. That's going to be hard. I am soloing it once again, once we have people in. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get hundred thousand that's like that's like 10 probably by the end of the, that'll probably take like 10 to 12 trips i think maybe we can do it anyway guys welcome back like i said solo we don't have jim or bob here working they are still they do like a part-time job too or this is their part-time job they have another job that they do but it's no big deal we're gonna head out and i have to i'm actually heading to the tractor right now we're gonna clean out some stumps and then we're gonna get to work on making more of a formal logging location i guess and then we're gonna use that shed that we found the abandoned tractor in as kind of like somewhere to put some equipment kind of like a home base if that makes sense so we'll log out to that log around the building um and then and then just kind of clear that out so that we have something to work with it's actually right up on this hill and then straight out straight out that way is the shed it's not too far but it's gonna it, we're gonna have to take down some trees so all right let's see if the old girl starts here this morning it's uh she's getting rustier and rustier by the day there we go she's chugging along i i love the sound of it i mean there might be something wrong with it but that's just fine i think it sounds really good like i said we're gonna clean out we probably got we got somewhere close to probably 20 25 stumps that we gotta clear honestly i like this stump grinder almost more than stump grinders on skid loaders it's actually seems to work a little better because the ones on the skid steers in farming simulator if you guys have played with them just don't work the best and then once you throw a stump grinder on top of that just the the, the like errors and the problems and like the glitches they have it's quite a bit but but this sump grinder seems to, it's just easy to work. I don't know if that makes sense. Like a lot of times with sump grinder, you put it on the stump and it, with the skid loader and it like doesn't grind it. So, and also we got a big rain last night and the grass is growing quite a bit. So I might be running over some stumps, some low, low stumps that I cut because they're hidden in the grass. So like I said, that's why I want to clear these out and let's get to work. <laughs> All right, here's a tip for you guys who are on computer and if you've ever logged before and you're trying to clear stumps especially in this tall grass like it's hard to see the stump or another problem you may have is you cleared some land you cut all the trees and then it's telling you it's telling you you can't place it like the the object collides with something. well if you press f4 on your keyboard then all of a sudden everything changes to like uh it, it's pretty cool i you can see the lines of everything and you can kind of like see the trees it, honestly it just takes away the grass and it's a lot easier to see so like here is a stump now i already grinded this it's underground but it may if i stuck my stump grinder further it might take that away but say you're replacing something down and there's stumps here and you can't really see them just do uh press f4 and you can see like especially if there's a little piece of wood wood in the grass like very small sometimes when you chop down trees a little piece of wood comes out and that could stop you from placing something down or like i said it just sometimes it might be easier you like this better to see oh there's a stump even though that one's underground it doesn't really matter for me it still might conflict you when placing something down so that's a tip that i didn't know and or i didn't know for a while until somebody showed me so hopefully that helps you guys out and if so but now it's time to get to the work. Here's our path. And this is where the shed is, if I'm correct. Should be right up here. We're going to try and we're going to clear. Yep, there it is. We're going to clear all the way up to this and then do a circle. So a lot of trees, a lot of, a lot of trees. This is the shed, if you guys remember. So this could be like, you know, where we keep the tractor. We probably can't fit the truck in there, but stump grinder, stuff like that. That way we have some sort of shed. And, and I really appreciate you guys commenting on last episode. Tell me exactly what I should be doing with the money. And I asked you guys, like, what, what should I buy next? Well, somebody commented, Spencer, maybe you should pay off your loan first. And I was like, you know what? That's right. Uh, that's probably the way to do it. So that's what we're going to do first. We have to pay off our loan. It was $240,000 uh, to buy all this land. And if we make 
about we'll probably make about like 60 70 today and then next time we have J joe and jim and bob working it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good so enjoy guys we are gonna get time lapse i won't see you guys till we get to the shed because i need to get that done <laughs> My favorite song is playing in a Broadway bar. Then you walk in and you're all alone. The hottest in the room by far. And you look up and our eyes lock. And my heart falls straight out of my chest, baby. Your lips and your sweet smile. Let me kiss it till I die. For the rest of our lives, yes. You and me were men. All right, here's load number two. I'm just getting around in position. Hopefully, uh, I don't know if there's going to be more than the last one. Hopefully, we get at least 15,000. That would be sick. But we may get a headway once we get back to the site. I'll kind of show you guys how far along we got. One thing that that is just so much harder and I didn't realize is the grass growing. It is harder to like see the logs, see the little ones that I cut and stuff. Okay, seven, almost 19,000. That was pretty good. That was, that was actually really good. So we're at 140K, but we're 100,000 away from paying off the loan, which would be awesome. But a lot of you guys said, hey, Spencer, get a, get a skid loader. And I, it, like one of the, the Massey Ferguson, there's an old Massey Ferguson. I forget the model exactly, but it's, you can make it like a forestry skid loader. It's pretty cool. The only thing is, is it tall enough and will it reach to load up this truck i'm not too sure i hope it would i think it would but it would be really close skid loaders in my opinion are really easy to grab onto the logs with and they kind of turn maneuver better i i think anything will be better than the old rust bucket i got which is which is like fine like we got it for free which is cool but okay another thing i forgot is this freaking stump right there right next to the station i need to i need to get that rid of but here's the site this is what we kind of did we moved it out haven't taken out any stumps which i probably should but yeah maybe maybe i'll take out the stumps first but it just the grass is so long like all these little uh like the ends that i cut off to shorten and stuff it's just it's a bummer because it just makes it really hard but eventually i guess i don't know anyway Let's get back to it. I'm going to clean this side up and then I need to grind some stumps. Just make it easier so I quit running into them. Well, the sun's up, you wake up, an angel in the morning light. And I don't ever want to leave. The bed's messed up just right. So we make love and we make plans and god knows that i'm all about it we're up high never coming down baby just So we're about loaded up on this one in my opinion we're kind of already full but i screw it let's it's always fun to just to just see how much you can fit on because we already put on this much and if the truck breaks down it breaks down we're making good money if the tractor the tractor goes kibbutz it's uh it's all good so here we go open her up and the railing i'm a little roll okay that's not that, that's not bad i could probably fit a few more on i got a few on the side that i need to kind of trim up here that one should be good. Let's see. There we go. But the MS660, this thing is a beast. I love it so much. It's uh, it's a really good chainsaw. All right, come on. There we go. We got it out. So if I, I think, let me look, let me look. Got to figure this one out. If I can get it in between right there, otherwise just go, go right on top. I'm thinking I got to get straps ready to strap these on. I like to, after I load on so many, it's kind of, especially like once we're this, we already got this much of a load. Okay, we can't go any higher and is that good stay on stay on come on oh no okay oh uh, what okay this sometimes this tractor i go backwards it actually goes forward super weird 
Not a big deal. Let's see if we can fit one more on, and then we should be good. One thing I shouldn't be doing is we're kind of on like an incline, which does not help this little girl. Uh, it, it struggles quite a bit when we're on an incline. There we go. Perfect. You see here, I'm going backwards, and the tires are spinning. It's because this is this is a pretty big tree or a pretty big log here. I'm going to kind of shorten it up, take some weight off so we can actually load it. There we go. Perfect. And like always, guys, if you enjoy the video, please let me know by smash like button. Please subscribe as well. We we only have out of you guys watching, like only 25 percent are actually subscribed, which is kind of it's kind of bad compared to like other channels and stuff. So make sure make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It would help out a lot. All right. I got to strap this down because if I don't, they're going to go flying. All right. Let's see if that holds. There we go. We're free. All right. Let's strap down this sucker and we're off let's do it so i got all the sums cleared i don't know i think i forgot to show you guys that it's not a big deal honestly sump granted is probably the most boring part but this is load load number three we're hitting uh hitting load number three i got the sump out of the way here so i can kind of like shoot through here but eventually i want to i want to make this more of a former road use the sculpting tool or the painting tool kind of make this road more legit but i i hate the grass I'm, i gotta think of something i might go in the settings and take out the grass but also guys we're on economic difficulty we're on hard economic difficulty so like right now i'd be making a lot more so if you guys want to do this yourselves i mean i challenge you to put it on hard economic difficulty because i think i think like it, my load if it was fifteen thousand, i'm not for sure but if like my load was fifteen thousand on hard i think normal would be closer to like 20 or 25 which is quite a bit it's almost like double i'm not too sure though too but i'm sure it helps quite a bit all right, and I need to get that truck running in that trailer because that that makes money. I mean, we're what we're making about like five, six a load. I think five. And if I can get Jim and Bob running that on the side, kind of loading that by hand with the tractor as well, we can make some pretty good money. So we're at one hundred forty thousand. Let's see what we get for this. I think this isn't going to be the same as you can tell. Like the the diameter, the the circumference of these isn't that big. They aren't that thick. As you guys know, the thick ones they sell good. All right, let's see it. Okay, fifteen thousand. So. Better than I thought, but we did pack her down to the gills. All right, load number four. We're doing good. I, I At least I think we're doing pretty good. This one, are we going to break? This one might hit 20K. We have quite a bit. Big logs in the back. Now looking at it, it's not it's not a bunch, but I think, I think we're going to get like 18 or 19. But as the day goes on, when we sell more and more wood, we're increasing the supply of, of lumber at the sawmill. And when whenever you increase supply and like demand stays the same, basic economics the price is going to go down so technically our best our best uh load would have been the first one but who knows too maybe maybe somebody a bunch of houses just just got blown over and everybody needs a bunch of lumber to rebuild them so we'll see what we get but i'm on normal time speed so it's it's not like the time's going by really fast and demand changes uh in farm him like day to day so we will see what we get all right here we go 18 all right solid very very solid so that what the one we almost had 19 if i'm not mistaken but anyway let's get back out there get another load i want to go around the shed i'll show you guys kind of what we what we all cleared there obviously i need the stump grinder out there as well but let's keep her moving all right there we go we got a new load started i need to undo those straps first one is in i'll trim that off who is is that that's bob bob what are you doing man sorry, sorry i'm a little late yeah, you're late. You're late by what? I'm going to be out of here in like two hours. What are you doing, man? Um, I, I hold up in school and needed to come. Okay, so you were held up. Yeah, I thought you I thought you guys were, were at school today. It's a weekday, but yeah. All right, you guys are working tomorrow, uh, Saturday and Sunday. You guys are working hard, but all right, Bill, we can, uh, or Bob, I always forget your name, but sorry. We can, uh, what, what the game plan is, I cleared out all this and we're going to go, we're going to go around and clear all the trees around the shed and then we're going to use the shed. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Grass grew yeah. a lot, man. It rained a bunch last night. You see, it's, it's a lot harder because yeah. like the trees. It's a lot taller. Yeah. It's a lot taller. We need to mow it almost, but go ahead. Here's a chainsaw. Thanks. Yep. There you go. Go ahead. Just run around, take out two, three wide and just take her down, brother. Yeah. I'll come in with the tractor. Got it. Oh, gosh, dang, old Bob just showed up. That guy was like, I don't even know how he got here, but he's a really good worker. I was just kind of busting his chops. Oh, oh, that he's not a good worker. He dropped it right on me. Bob, man, you got to watch out. Sorry, you should move out of my way. And you should drop the tree where it should drop. The tree dropped there. All right, prune it up. Let's go. 
Gosh dang kids. No, he's a good worker, but that maybe he's just getting anti now. I should I should probably lay off him a bit. Alright, where's this stump at? Alright, he cut it nice and low. And there we go. Honestly, these trees for this tractor, like the other ones. So this is this is as small, pretty much as small as they get out here in this forest. And the bigger ones, they're they're too much for the tractor. This tractor can only handle so much, as you guys can already tell. And these are these are perfect for it. I come in in the end, I clean up the I clean up the the overhang, I guess you can call it. And they they lay down nice and good. So there we go. Like I said, I need to undo these straps. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is about as I think they can get a little bit bigger than this, but it's just tough. It, it's it's too much weight for this old girl. She she don't like it too much, but it's it does pretty good, honestly. With the I had to buy, I had to go. I actually bought two different weights, which kind of sucked because I wasted like a few thousand bucks because the first one I bought I thought was gonna work, but it was actually too light. So. All right, Bob, I'm heading into town to the sawmill. I need you to jump on the tractor, swap out the weight for the grinder, get all these stumps grind, and then we will be, uh, we'll probably put everything inside before the, before tonight. So yeah, I can hop on the tractor and do that. All right, sounds good. Don't miss any. If you miss one, that's yeah. uh, a dock in your pay, all right? Yeah. It. And it goes straight to Jim. Shouldn't you turn off the tractor when you're not No, she's it? running. Don't shut it off. It might not start again. Don't shut it off. Just How keep long it running, man. been running for? A few days. That's. I just keep. I got a I got a, a line in the ground from the gas station and I just plug it in at night and it That's just dumps fuel. Good. Uh it's all right, man. All right, get her done. All right, boys, we are loaded down. I got quite a bit of extra weight on the right side, so I gotta be careful that I don't accidentally tip because I was driving the other day, going down a hill, and I started to slide, and the back end started coming around, and it, and then it caught, and it, I wasn't like totally perpendicular to the to the road but I, I i was starting to get pretty close and i felt like i was gonna tip so i need to be a little more careful in my opinion and uh but anyway we should be good it's it's pretty dry out. all right here we go let's get her sold i'm thinking it might sell for a lot here we go 18 and a half that was solid we're just about to hit 200k we're gonna try and get one more load in the sun is going down now that now that old uh old bob came down i think we'll be able to knock it out pretty quick that last one was like at least two times as fast maybe even faster just having another guy running so i never have to leave the tractor but he should he should have yeah we we might be done for the day too it's getting pretty late and and i'm starting to get tired but and i'm really hungry bob what are you doing down there man what, what did you do when i was gone um so i detached a ron thing okay and then you detached start rolling and i couldn't stop it and what happened to the sump grinder it's all tilted over help me i might have landed a tree on it push 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 uh oh all right just bring bring over the tractor yeah i think i landed a tree on that okay that's all right all right guys hopefully you enjoyed today's episode we are gonna we are gonna fill the truck but that'll be it i'll show you guys us selling it next time i'll put it inside here but this is our new, this is our, this is our home base. This is our new, I guess, logging spot. We're going to expand from here, kind of clear out all the trees, formally make a road. And this is kind of where we're going to call home for the meantime. Uh, and it was free. We didn't have to do anything. It it was here. So cool, cool. We're making it look actually, maybe I should paint it or something. In the end, I'll probably just tear it down. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Smash like button if you haven't already. Please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.